Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Renata and in today's video, I will be sharing with you two reviews. I will be reviewing this beautiful fabric as well as the pattern that was used to create this blouse. Now this video is in collaboration with So Essential UK. I'm very happy to be working with them and I feel very, very proud that they um, decided to work with me and I hope that they love what I've done with the fabric that they uh, entrusted into my care and I hope that uh, I hope that they like the finished product so if you guys are interested please continue watching before we dive into this pattern and fabric I want to thank you guys for taking time to sit here and watch this video I know that there are a lot of things that you guys can be doing and I'm really appreciative that you decided to spend a few minutes here with me today so thank you and if you are new welcome I hope that by the end of this video you'd consider subscribing to the channel for those of you that have been here multiple times again thank you now let's take a look at this pattern okay so the pattern that we're talking about here is the Liberty Fabrics Theo Boho Sleeve Shirt. It is an amazing pattern with six variations. Now, the one that I chose was more or less the most, almost the most basic design. It has a unique statement sleeve as well as a few gatherings um, at the back on the sleeve and it also features a sort of fly front that's what they call it for the button up placket so regarding the placket let me just tell you when you are drafting out this onto your fabric when you lay your pattern pieces on please pay attention to every single line and notch mark them mark your buttonholes especially if you're working with a fabric such as this which is extremely silky it's mo it moves a lot it just does not stay where you put it it has to go its own way definitely transfer all your markings now the placket was a little tricky for me, mainly because I have not sewn a shirt in a very long time. I rarely ever sew like shirts that have buttons and cuffs. I haven't done that in a very long time. So this was a, a learning curve for me, especially trying to do it with a fabric such as this, which is a silky. Now, the pattern itself has uh, two sizing options. I know I should have uh, stated this before, but it runs from a size 6 to a size 14 and then a size 14 through 22. I would also say the best fabrics to work with this pattern, especially if you're just getting back into sewing or this is new, a new project to you because on the pattern it says easy, go with a poplin, poplin type fabric because that's the easiest to handle and you will be very um you'll be happy with the results you will learn a lot and then you can add, um, move up progress and advance to uh, a, a different type of fabric if you so desire to but that's my recommendation now pay attention to your front and back pattern pieces because the front left and the front right are totally different regarding the size they uh, they fold differently. They both have that fold line, that center front line, and the stitching line. Now the stitching line is there so you can have that unique stitch down the, the front of your placket. Um, this is a, a fly front style so instead of having a separate placket to add, it's all one. So there's a self-facing and then you fold that in and then you fold it one more time so it it stays easy but i feel you need to be advanced or have sewn shirts for uh, um a few times before that's my recommendation so you don't lose your mind okay <laughs> you don't want to do that now the pattern the instructions were fairly simple to 
to follow. I feel like they were straightforward and I definitely would say that, again, my experience making shirts uh, isn't like the highest and I think that's why I struggled with the placket. Everything else went really well and smooth, but the placket that my mind just could not wrap my, I just, I couldn't wrap my mind around it. I just kept getting hit with a hammer and hitting a roadblock and just wondering why am I so baffled by this? So I took a breather and came back. So I definitely would recommend reading the pattern multiple times, at least two times to make sure you have your bearings down properly. Other than that, great pattern, a beautiful design. I love how it turned out. Now let's talk about the fabric. So this fabric is Jean Caldon of Paris. It's the color purple. It is a lightweight polyester satin and it's suitable for blouses and dresses as well as any like silky pieces that you'd want for comfort. So I would say if you wanted to make some cute silky uh, pajamas, you can definitely make something like that that with this it would be totally luxurious and you'd feel amazing in it I love the hand of this fabric I love how it flows it's amazing the color the print this face of this thing is so beautiful it's a polyester satin the hand is amazing on this fabric the flow the feel how it how it reacts to your skin when you wear it is amazing there is no irritation it feels amazing it looks so good the color is just vibrant and beautiful love 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 it it's just such an amazing fabric and it just looks beautiful it looks glorious and i cannot wait to share with you the 360 of this you guys are going to love it you're going to see it in its full glory as I showcase the blouse with a jeans and some boots. I kind of styled it really relaxed, but you guys can see how this pattern can um, go the mile and work really long in your wardrobe depending on what color you use, what fabric you use, and how you style it. This blouse can work with denim, it can work with regular trousers for the office, you can wear it with skirts, it is just fabulous. And the multiple options that you receive in the pattern I think is just a plus. So definitely check it out and look down below to the description box where I'm going to leave links to the fabric, the pattern, as well as all the social media handles of So Essential UK big shout out to them for working with me i'm really happy i'm satisfied with my product i hope they are satisfied with this uh, completed project as well so meet me in the next section where i'll be sharing with you my 360 and then i will close off in the end Can 
Can't you see it? It's coming, shining in the distance, beaming, leaving our reason behind. Let's be here and stay. Let's stay here forever, be here together. We could nurture each other, find us another world to be our There you have it. What do you think of my 360? What do you think of this, this blouse? Isn't it just amazing? It's so beautiful. Everything looked great. I feel amazing in it. I think the whole outfit looks awesome. Amazing. I cannot wait to wear it again. I went shopping in this. I feel like I can go to dinner in it. I can hang out with some friends and it's perfect for the weather as it transitions from hot to cold so I can hang out in the evening and I typically would probably go out with something to throw over me but with this and it being that sort of silky fabric it's going to trap some heat right so I don't technically need to take a cardigan and I'm going to be looking fabulous so there you have it guys I hope you enjoyed this video I was so glad to work on this project and I'm just so happy to share it with you I hope that you're motivated now to try this pattern and probably try a silk fabric i did share with you some of the things that weren't so good about working with it but now i know what not to do or what to do and i will feel comfortable and more confident going into another project with silk type of fabrics and that is what i hope to bring to you when i share my projects Sometimes the wonderful parts and the not so wonderful part, but knowing that you can overcome it and you can learn from it, I think that's the lesson that we all should learn. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will meet you on another upload. Bye-bye.